What's up everybody, how are you? Welcome back to the channel, Leon Gamer here in 1985, back with some more of the Championship Series here on WWE 2K22, and I want to thank you for joining me. Um, and, and this one is going to be Bray Wyatt, who's going to be the fan, and I think it's the United States title in an 8-man battle royale, folks, at Judgment Day. Anyway, let's head right into it, folks. I am not being anybody, I want to see how this uh, plays out. Um, hopefully it is the United States title. Oh, it's not. Oh, Riddle, you can defend Riddle's... Um Double title, folks. We're gonna make this a, a different one, a, a brilliant one. It's gonna be a double title match. Oh, you can have. Oh, right. Um, jeez, didn't really realize this. John, what? We'll do that one there, and see potentially if Damian Priest can become a, a triple crown champion. Um. Let's go. So it's going to be two titles on the line in this Battle Royale, folks. It's going to be the United States and the Intercontinental title. So I just, just realised there that's that's what could have happened. So I may as well make it more exciting for you guys and for me also. Um, and the man you can't see there is Mark Henry. So we'll have a couple of big men in there with legends in there. Uh, wrestlers who are about now. But here comes... One man who will be defending his title, and that's Riddle. There he is with that beautiful Intercontinental Championship around his waist. And it's given me a great idea for some more uh, title matches. So whoever wins this, I think is going to defend it. Or both titles in a ladder match, the next... But Riddle with the Intercontinental Championship, can he win and add the United States title to it as well? <laughs> this has turned out even better than expected, folks. Anyway, let's skip on forward here now. Who's out next? Oh, it's William Regal. Had the Adam in there because Clash at the castle is coming up really, really soon. And you have to have an Englishman in there. I'm trying to think. Is there any Welsh wrestlers? I'm trying to think that I know of. No, not not really. I can't even think. Anyway, William Regal, the man from Blackpool. And Blackpool's really like the Las Vegas of England, but really way worse. <laughs> Anyway, let's skip on forward from William Regal's entrance here now as he's basically in the ring. Who's out now? Who is this? Oh, it's Damian Priest. The late heavyweight champion. He, his won't be up on the line, but he can become a triple champion. The first in the channel's history. Can he do it? Damien Priest can make history here. But it's not the best in terms of um champion triple championships you can't own. Because to me the, the best triple crown would be uh WWE World Heavyweight and Universal. But anyway, Damien Priest has a chance to do something on the channel that many get to do. So fair play to Damien Priest. If he can't do it. Who is out next? Oh, it's Omos. Omos here. The giant seven foot three. <laughs> Just realising there the TV was a bit low there, so you might not be able to hear the music anyway. <laughs> now nah, I've hired it up, so hopefully it's a lot better. But anyway, Omos marching to the ring. I used to wrestle for Pro Wrestling Ulster and the first time ever I went to training I tried to be cocky and the, the, the Pro Wrestling Championship uh, the PW title was, was up on a cabinet and I said that's mine I'll be getting that soon and they all laughed at me and said really and I said yes and they said right Tron come on out he wants to take your title 
and Tron is seven foot. So he just comes marching out. Had trials and all with WWE. A, a great, great wrestler and competitor and such a nice guy. But when he came out, he, you know, he's seven foot. I, I shit myself. I didn't know what to do. I was like, oh, 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 no, I didn't say that, I didn't say that. <laughs> but anyway, let's skip on forward. And it's Apollo Crews coming on out now. He certainly would like to be Intercontinental and United States or Champion here. But that's a great wee story to start off. So it was with my wrestling career, I remember that. Well, it wasn't really a career, just in training. <laughs> Only had a couple matches. But I actually was involved in a battle royale. And it's in the middle of a uh, Belfast City Centre we were doing it because it was uh, for, what was it, Customs? Uh, Custom House Square it was. And I just built a ring in the middle, and you should have seen the crowds. And I think I was put out like third in the royal or in the battle royale. There was like, what was there like twenty men in the ring? I was just tossed out, and it's a big drop, folks. It's not uh, for someone like me who's only five foot ten. It was a big drop. Anyway, let's skip on forward now. Culture night, that's what it was for. I was trying to remember the night. So Belfast, we always have a culture night once every year where everyone gets together in like the whole of Belfast and just celebrates everybody's culture. Great night, and we fought, you know, bring the wrestling down and everybody loved it. And here he anyway, here comes Mark Henry, I think. It is Mark Henry. He's an AEW champion on Universe Mode, so make sure you're checking them videos out. Anyway, let's skip on forward here now from Mark Henry's entrance. And is it Bray Wyatt that's coming out now? Has to be. I think it is. I think this is the last entrance, folks. Wonder what this happens looks like with the title on. There he is, Bray Wyatt, one of the creepiest men. But here I'm telling you, a man that's incredibly gifted, you know, I just mean creepy as in with the whole fiend and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, let's skip on forward here now. I want to get into this battle royale. Oh, there's one more entrance. Oh, yes. Who can forget this man? R.I.P. To the macho man. The Macho Man making his way down here, but we are going to skip on forward just because the entrances do take that long. But I love seeing the entrances, folks. And anyway, here we go. We're off Apollo Crews and William Regal going after each other. Riddle doing well against Bray Wyatt. Look at the strike from Mark Henry. There is the military presses. Damien Priest. Omos. Oh, just pushing Macho Man out of the way and then hits him a big right hand. Look at this from Riddle. Lovely move. And it's Damien Priest going out. Mark Henry trying to put Damien Priest out. It's not going to happen just yet. He's the only man that can win or have three titles here at the end of this. If he plays his cars right. Lovely here now. From Omos here. And a nice uh, digs here now from Apollo Cruz to William Regal. And Bray Wyatt did hit a nice Spain buster there to Riddle. Riddle, lovely knee there. Look at this. And the German suplex. Absolutely brilliant as Mark Henry pushes Damien Priest away and he gets a boot for it. But. It doesn't really affect him too much. Lovely double underhook power bomb there from Apollo Crews. And look at this, Mark Henry just hitting William Regal away. Swatting him away like a flag. Lovely from Apollo Crews there, who's doing really well. <coughs> Omos doing well too. Nice scoop slam from um, 
Bray Wyatt to Damien Priest and then another lovely old reversal here from William Regal and it's the Macho Man going out, the Macho Man probably the crowd favourite and the Macho Man's going out, he's the first casualty, no way <coughs> thanks to Omos Omos the Giant imagine he wins it will he be able to hold on to them for a while oh big strike nice strike oh and someone's busted open already is that almost I think it is almost it's busted open already the Giant and Apollo Crews going up to the top look at this from Mark Henry lovely frog splice <coughs> from Apollo Crews <coughs> another lovely standing moonstop and Apollo Crews is doing really well lovely sweep of the leg there from William Regal to Mark Henry and folks I apologise for the cough a lovely old reversal there from Omos look at this Omos lovely choke slam there and now oh look at this Damien Priest getting hit that lovely explorer suplex and William Regal's out of here now William Regal's out Bray Wyatt, Riddle and Damien Priest the champions that are in there now I know they can only win two of them and look at this oh the strength there to throw Bray Wyatt right over his head there from Omos it's insane and now Bray Wyatt getting reversed getting hit a nice elbow and a lovely boot there from the giant the Apollo Crews the two men from Nigeria lovely scoop slam there and Omos now oh he gets reversed here and Damien Priest Damien Priest is looking really good here now too to maybe win three or to hold three championships at the same time beautiful lovely move there and the Potter Bray Wyatt lovely move there to Damien Priest Bray Wyatt what's he gonna do here now oh he gets reversed actually and now almost the riddle here is he gonna try and put riddle out here will riddle be losing his intercontinental title and I think he may be you know riddle Riddle's losing his title. Riddle will not be going home with his title this time. Or another one. Lovely. Sister Abigail there. And Bray Wyatt now. Can he throw the giant of a man as well? Mark Henry out of this. And Mark Henry now. Look at this being hit. That big shot to the chest. And look at that shot from Damian Priest. And then almost coming in from behind. And Apollo Crews there. Nice. And now I think Mark Henry's busted open. Look at the state of Mark Henry's face. And now Bray Wyatt going right after Mark Henry, kicking him in the chest. Lovely move there from Omos here. And now Mark Henry may be going on out here. Mark Henry is out of here. Mark Henry will not be winning the titles. And Damian Priest is still in this as he brain squeezes the face grip there on Bray Wyatt's head. And Damian Priest has got a great chance, but Omos is looking other than being busted open he, his, his health is really good and he's near a finisher again and oh nice boot from Damien Priest here and a nice shot there sends Apollo Crews right down to the ground here nice striking from Omos Omos now lovely clothesline there to Bray Wyatt and now waiting on Bray Wyatt getting up look at this oh Bray Wyatt reversing that finisher lovely move there from Damien Priest now he's got two finishers on a, near enough a signature lovely running clothesline from Bray Wyatt to the giant Omos Bray Wyatt oh hits the Dave and Santon and Omos is starting to lose a bit of health here now Bray Wyatt's got oh a finisher now too if Bray Wyatt hits it it could really help everybody out he's going to hit it lovely the sister Abigail there too Omos and Omos is now looking like he's sweating and what a big shot there to the back and Damien Priest getting beat up now nice shot to the chest absolutely brilliant here and Omos now being dragged towards the ropes Bray Wyatt Bray Wyatt puts Omos out the giant side we're down to the final three and what about Apollo Crews Apollo Crews is being thrown into the corner here now and will I come down the champion first champion here I think it may do is Apollo Crews going out is Apollo Crews going out he seems like he's hanging on in there and he hangs on in there lovely from Apollo Crews here now and Damien Priest has still got the chance to make history look at this oh what a move oh and then now hitting Bray Wyatt 
a signature too. Absolutely brilliant. And Damien Priest is on a roll here. Damien Priest. Look at this from Bray Wyatt though. Lovely shot to the midsection there. And now, Bray Wyatt, what's he doing here? What is he doing now? What's going on here? Oh, that is bizarre. Look at that. I can't even stretch like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is not... I just think of how sore my back would be after that. I know what's he doing? Where's he walking to? Fuck me. What the hell is going on? He turned into a spider. Bray wet. Come on, Apollo. What the fuck is happening here? Jesus, was there any need for that, Bray wet? Was there any need to show off like that lovely move there, the throw and suplex from er, from Apollo Cruz, and Apollo Cruz now trying to put Bray Wyatt on out here. Well, Bray Wyatt, oh, he doesn't. He actually doesn't lose his title right here. He still stays in it. Lovely scoop slam. <laughs> and now he's going after Apollo Cruz here now. Lovely shot there, sends Apollo Cruz right up. And look at this. What the hell is going on here? He's not doing this again, is he? No, he's not, thankfully. Bray Wyatt. Oh, he gets reversed here, Bray Wyatt. What's wrong with Damien Priest? He's still on the ground. Lovely move there from Apollo Crews, too. Nice strike in here, very nice. Apollo Crews has Bray Wyatt up again. Lovely. Oh, the knee there. Absolutely beautiful. And Bray Wyatt is in the corner now no one's going after Damien Priest I think Damien Priest needs a, a, an ambulance or something so he does he's holding his head he hasn't got up in the way oh lovely scoop slam there from Bray Wyatt Damien Priest maybe he's just playing dead here maybe he's he's pretending nice reversal there from Bray Wyatt here now Bray Wyatt another lovely scoop slam Oh, and he gets reversed, Bray Wyatt here. Lovely German suplex. The action these three men are doing, or have been doing, have been brilliant here now. But what has happened to um, Damien Priest? Oh, and I think Bray Wyatt may be losing his title now. Bray Wyatt is out of here. Bray Wyatt's no longer the United States champion. And it's either Apollo Crews will be champion or Damien Priest will win. And claim them all. <coughs> and he's going to do a good job of a lovely move there. And now, Apollo Crews could be headed on out. Oh, he misses that springboard attack there. And Apollo Crews now. Apollo Crews. Oh, lovely move. And then another lovely. Oh, springboard move there. And Apollo Crews looks out of it, folks. I think Damien Priest might be triple champion here you know what a boot to the face and Apollo Cruz is I think he's done in you know he hasn't been able to do anything oh he reverses her he reverses oh and Damien Priest reverses right back Apollo reverses too it's a tale of reversals here now oh what a shot and Apollo Cruz I think's gonna be the double champion Apollo Cruz wins it Apollo Cruz is the intercontinental and United States champion I did not expect that Absolutely incredible. Look at that. The double champion. The first double champion in terms of Intercontinental in the United States champion here on the channel. And that's Apollo Crews. Incredible here. Unbelievable. What a finish to that matchup. I did not expect that. I thought Damien Priest had it in the bag. And Apollo Crews wins, folks. What a win. And folks, if you've enjoyed this battle royale for the two titles like I have, you know what to do. You can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, it helps me out in the algorithm. And also, doing this, turning the notification bell on will help you guys out as well. Because I upload a lot and you'll be first aware of all uploads. And folks, you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and TikTok at the NIGamer1985. Folks, thanks for joining me as always. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.